Hello, so I've got a problem. In fact, I've got several problems. Now, this is probably not a huge surprise to you, but I didn't see it coming. The weather's definitely turned cold. I'm out here with cups of tea, woolly hats on and padded shirts, but it also means the sun's gone and it's getting dark in here. Now, I've got studio lights right where you are. Let me show you. That's where I was standing. That's my camera stand. Obviously, I've got the camera in my hand now and lights. And I've also got other lights I use for more close up shots. Now, back in the summer, it was so bright in here. I used this thing called a variable ND filter. It's this kind of sunglasses you put on your camera. And I needed that because it was so bright. But now I've had rainy days out here and it's been too dark to work. So I need to sort out some lighting. Now, I do have the big flap, but I like to keep it closed to keep the wind noise out and to keep the lighting consistent. So that won't work. So you're probably shouting at the screen, Matt, just get some lights. And you're right, but I have a few considerations. I don't want kind of work lights, the stand light things, because they get in the way with filming. I'd rather overhead lights. I don't actually have any mains power out here, but we'll come to that in a second. And in about four months time, I want to start building my new workshop. So I don't want to invest in anything that I can't use in the future. So with the power thing, I have this EcoFlow unit and I bring this out every time I want to use any mains power tools, but that's not every time I'm out here. It's a reasonably big thing to move, but every time I'm out here at the moment, I will want the lights on. But EcoFlow have sent me one of their new units, the River 2, and I'm using it to power my Badger sign at the moment. And you can see this is a much smaller, lighter weight unit, so I can bring this out easily every time I come out to the workshop. So I looked at some off the shelf solutions, but there was nothing I liked. I like the idea of string lights, but they don't come with daylight temperature bulbs, and that's what I need. So I thought I'd have a go at making my own ones. So what I've bought is some really nice fabric cable and some bulb holders. Now, my thoughts are this is exterior grade lighting, so I can use it for a few months in here. Then when I've got the workshop built, I can put it up again in minutes. But if I decide I want to do something different in there, it can just go outside on the fence or along the outside of the workshop so it will get used. Now, to start with, on the end of the cable, I bought this hook bit. And that just ends the cable nicely and makes it quick to put up. So the first thing to do is to get that installed. The cable just pushes through the end. And then it's got a little keeper that I just need to get installed so it doesn't pull out. I now need to work out the spacing I want between the bulbs. Now, the good thing is the floor in here is gonna be the floor of the new workshop. So it's gonna be exactly the same span. So I think I'm gonna do three rows of two bulbs. So six lights in here, the old workshop only had three. So it's not that much bigger, but I'm doubling the lights. So I think I will mark out one meter from the end and then mark out with a Sharpie where I want the bulb holder to go. Then I can mark out one meter further along from that for the second bulb. To help with the marking out, I'm clamping the cable to the bench and then I can hook the tape over the end of the bench and make my one meter mark. And that's the first two bulb positions marked out. Now I need to work out the space I want between the rows. Now, as the new world shop's gonna be the same size as this one, I might as well just use this spacing. So if we do 150 centimetres between them, that should work out perfectly. And then I can attach these to the rafters and the new workshop won't be a problem. There'll be a lot more attachment points. So now I've just got to keep marking out the position for the bulb holders with 100 mil increments, with 150 mil between the first set and the second set and the second set and the third set. Right, I have all the cable marked out now for the bulb holders and these things could not be simpler to install. Well, I say that now, I've not had a go yet, but they look it. All you've got to do is unscrew the cap 
you've got two spikes where the cables go in. You push the cable in, tighten up the cap, and that will push the spikes into the cable, making contact with it, and that's it done. So let's give this a go. Right, so I'm just gonna find my first mark. There it is. Let's center that into the bulb holder and screw this down. So that should be it, done. Pretty simple. So I've got five more of these to install now. So I will use that time to tell you about the EcoFlow. So you all know how this works. EcoFlow haven't just sent me this out because of their heart. They want me to talk about the thing. And I agreed to do it because I was so happy with the one I've been using for months. It's been a game changer for me, having power out here, being able to run big bits of machinery. And I thought it was a great idea at the time. Now, with the energy crisis, it's even better. I've been using it to run my washing machine in the house and trying to cut back on my energy bills in every way. So when they were offered me the Eco 2, I definitely said yes, because I like the idea of a more portable unit. But I have got some talking points, I'm afraid. So the EcoFlow River 2 is the best portable power station under one kilowatt. I'll give you its key features. It has the fastest recharging speed, zero to 100% in one hour. Now I have done that plugging into mains, but you can also use some solar panels and you can also plug it into your car's cigarette port. It has the strongest reliability with a safety LFTP battery 3,000 plus cycles, product lifetime up to 10 years. It has an advanced BMS system, built-in battery management system. It is quite fancy that. You can use the app to control it and do fancy things. Not that I use many of those features. And it's an affordable, cost-effective option. Now, I did see a lot of the comments below when I first talked about the it, big EcoFlow I got was how expensive it was. So if you were looking for something similar, this is a much smaller capacity, but it makes it so much more portable. If you were up for going camping and things, it'd be a great little option. It comes with a five year warranty as well. And that is all my talking points done. And one, two, three, four, oh, one more to do. Just as I was screwing in the last bulb holder, my little light died, which charges over USB-C. So I can actually plug this in to the EcoFlow and have it charging out here. I'm going to start at this end to attach them to the wall because I want them to end the other end where the actual EcoFlow is. Now to attach them to the wall, I'm going to use some little cable ties. That seems the simplest option. They'll be easy to take down again. And when I'm in the new workshop, I can just use some cable clips to tack them up to the rafters or to the ceiling, whatever stage I'm at with the build. They can now get cable tied along the frame, along to the next bit to go across the ceiling. This is the last one going up. So pretty easy to put up and hopefully take down. Now I've got loads of cable left over. But instead of snipping it, I think I'm just gonna fit the plug to the end and then in the future when I know what I'm doing with all this, I can trim it to length. So they're up, the plug's on. Now I've gotta get some bulbs in. So what I've got is some LED filament bulbs. These are nine watt, which is 60 watt equivalent and they're a cool white, which means they're 6,000 Kelvin, which is great for filming. It's probably kind of the temperature you have in your kitchen. It's just much nicer to work by. In the new workshop, if I keep these, I might add some lampshades to them, but the bare bulbs will be fine for now. All right, last one in. Now we can get this plugged into the EcoFlow. Then I've just got to press the AC power button. Oh, wow, that's bright and it all worked first time. And it makes it look a lot less green in here. So I think this is gonna be a big improvement. Oh, I'm quite excited to have lights. 
and now it's working here in six bowls has made a huge difference. I'll be able to work all winter long, no problem. And from day one of having the workshop built, I can have lights up and working. Even if I've got no insulation or internal cladding, I can get these up. So some of these bulbs are spaced one meter apart, others have bigger gaps, but if I want to take them down and use them in the garden, I've bought some extra bulb holders so I can put those into the spacing, then I'll have a continuous run of bulbs with one meter spacing. So the EcoFlow is doing great. I'll put a link to that down below as I say, so thank you to EcoFlow for that. I bought all the cables and bulbs and bulb holders myself, but I will put links to those on the Tools I Use page as well. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.